are headed to the Hawking Eta. Take care of some stuff. Some things and some stuff. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Eta cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers kill them. Right. How permanent a solution are you looking for? We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Check that out. Cool. Anyway. Uh. 
Oh, oh, I think I see something. The question mark. Interesting. Must be an anomaly. Hello. In route. What is this? Huh. Hello. position. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. He shouldn't have killed those investigators. This problem isn't gonna go away. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. He is leading you to your deaths. If you fight the Alliance, you'll all get slaughtered. I'm your last chance. Let me talk to him or people start dying. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Oh, but first... I see minerals! Not lost. Precious minerals. 
сейчас. Сейчас, минералс. Yes. Okay. Now we go top. Priorities. Father Kyle says we biotics have to stick together. That's not creepy at all. Biotics can feel safe here. Uh huh. Whatever you say. Nobody cares about us, biotics. We have to look out for each other. Uh huh. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna rub you blind. Thank you. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. Yeah, give up or I fuck them up. If you don't come with me, all your followers will end up dead. What kind of father lets his children die? No, this... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please, I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. I don't want an apology. You have to come with me, Major. Wait, if my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I think it would be better if you came with me now, Major. I must do everything I can to keep any more of my children from suffering. This is the only solution. I'm gonna trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Joker can have the Fifth Fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. Oh, that's a nice uh, chunk of renegade.
Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the thorium. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. It's up to the Alliance to take its proper place. Even if we have to kick its ass to convince it to kick theirs. We're out here trying to save everyone. We can worry about who's king after the dust settles. You sound like you want the aliens dictating to us. I don't think many of them even want to. A lot of people don't understand that. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. It's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I'm glad to hear the bastard got what he deserved. He didn't deserve... He hurt a girl, broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick, right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Yeah, you must be proud of yourself. Like I said, he deserved it. It killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. I don't know. You don't seem angry about the Council strong-arming the Alliance. Commander, I thought real hard about how to use my talents. When I swore the oath to defend the Alliance, it wasn't on a whim. If it comes down to it, I am a soldier. I have to believe that my superiors can tell our enemies from people who disagree with us. If the Alliance is missing its chance, it's because of men like Udina, not the rest of the galaxy holding us back. Of course, your opinion is the one that matters, Commander. As long as you remember that, we'll do fine, Lieutenant. Yes, ma'am. I should return to my duties now. Commander? We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Right. <clears throat> no medieval. Looking for supplies? Think I'm gonna buy myself a Spectre sniper rifle? Uh, no. There you go. Looking for supplies? Might as well get shotgun and the assault rifle. Good, 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 good. Give us all some upgrades. Rex will get the shotgun. The senior opponent on tungsten. Yeah, whatever. Good, it's good, it's good. To Ashley, we will give the. Assault rifle, thank you. And I'll take the sniper rifle.
Commander. What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. No, they, I think, discussion. You know, just saying, Skipper. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. You can't think I'm the most patriotic person on the ship. Nah, you just happened by at the right time. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? You overestimate your importance. Offense. Are you playing games with me? I don't always play games, sir. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. You're blacklisted because of your grandfather's cowardice. Cowardice. That's what the Terra Firma party calls it. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shan Shi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. Sometimes you have to fight to the bitter end. You plan to bail if Saren gets the upper hand? No, sir. I'd die to stop him, if that's what it takes. Him and anyone else who tries to screw with the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're tough and decisive. I value those qualities. Just consider me a fire-and-forget missile. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Right. Anyway. I'm pretty sure these are the last two conversations I'm gonna have. Ah. Uh. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. You are welcome. Mr. Lance Erickson. Yeah, and I think this is a good place to end this, this session. We're almost at one more side mission and uh, we'll be able to get out with the main story. So yeah.